mate. What's <laughs> going on, mate? <laughs> What's up, man? I'm I'm doing good. It's uh, been a lot of fun here today, and I'm happy to be along for the ride. You deserve it, man. Um, Thank you. you know, when we talk about leaders and dogs on this team, we, there's a few guys I think we talk about who could have both patches, but. Your play speaks for itself, and you're obviously a leader. You're here, so you could be both. I appreciate it, and it's also a credit to Coach Prime identifying like a specialist. Like I feel like a lot of coaches wouldn't really give the respect to a specialist, a punter or kicker, but um, yeah, credit to him for seeing the value in me. So yeah, how did that all go down? How did it work with uh, you getting invited to come out here? Oh, basically, they just sent me a text message and said I'm coming. So <laughs> <laughs> that was that was all it was to it. But um, yeah, it's it's been a it's been a blessing and an honor to be here. To be honest, I feel like Coach Prime has a lot of love for specialists. Uh, yeah. What has that been like? Like, how has your uh, how has your relationship with him grown over the last year? And is is that nice to have that from your coach? Oh, absolutely. And he does love his specialists. Like, he'll sit down and eat with us all the time. <laughs> um, every time he'll see me, like every time in the building, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's just yeah, he's so fun. Like behind the scenes, he's just a great guy, and he'll get to know everyone. Like people say, you only favor certain guys like his sons and the best best players but honestly he gets to know everyone on the team and the thing about that is you think about a guy like Camden Dempsey who you could argue was a fourth string long snapper last year he got to know Camden well enough to identify how he can be of value to this team and give him a role like the governor like what head coach is doing that it's such a great point and um it's actually funny that you mentioned just you know how much he cares about everyone because I, I had a crazy interaction last night uh, <laughs> at, at the casino where this woman came up to me and was just like talking about how terrible Coach Prime is and all this stuff and how he only cares about his, his sons. But it's uh, it, it's so true that I mean the the Camden Dempsey example is so perfect of not only did he care about him and get to know him and learn him, but like you said, find a role for a guy and you know each guy on the team has their own unique relationship with him, their own role for how they can help this team. Exactly. And like like I said, he gets to know everyone, but everyone can bring value to the team. Like no matter what it is, some are going to be bigger than others, but Coach Prime does a great job in identifying that. And like he always says that he just wants the best for us and the best out of us. Like, so how can you say he's not a good guy? Not to be honest, it's, it's crazy. Well, they say a lot of <laughs> things yeah. about this program, um, but yeah, it's crazy to see. Um, punting in Colorado, do you notice a difference punting in Colorado? I get this to- question a lot. I honestly don't. Yeah. Like, I had a couple of my best games, but not in Colorado last year. Like, I honestly don't think it makes much of a difference, yeah. if at all. Do you play golf? Uh, yeah, I'd like to get out there a bit more, but I used to play a lot. I was going to say, because you can definitely notice the altitude in golf, but I feel like the ball's a lot smaller. It's moving at a much higher yeah. rate of speed. And even then, it's like, you know, maybe 10% from sea level to alt- to, to altitude. But I, I can't imagine it's nearly that much with a football. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, you, And you don't see anyone getting out there and kicking 70-yard field goals or anything. There's nothing right. crazy. Uh, so was that did that not play any role in your decision to want to come to Colorado? No, honestly, just to play for Coach Prime was the biggest um, drawing factor, I'd, I would say. Love it. What was that like when, uh, you know, you entered the portal? Because you were at Louisville, right? Yes, sir. Yep. And then you entered the portal. What was it like, you know, those initial conversations being recruited by him? Yeah, I honestly didn't really know a lot about him. Obviously not growing up around American <laughs> right, football. Sure. Um, the only thing I knew about him was just seeing Jackson State videos like on Sports Center the year that season prior and but as I was getting recruited by them obviously I start reading things and start watching like <laughs> old highlights and just realize that he's this absolute legend of the game mm-hmm. and like who wouldn't want to play for him for sure so who is the Dion Sanders of Aussie rules football <laughs> Uh, well, these names are going to mean nothing to you, <laughs> but Lance Franklin, Gary Ablett Jr., are two that come to mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so, Australian rules football is that the one? Because you, you guys are about you know rugby, you know cricket, all this stuff out there. Yeah, is that the one? Australian though? football. It's the most popular, the biggest game in, in Australia, and that's what I grew up playing. Like since I could walk, really, you mm-hmm. just go to the park and you kick. We say kick the footy, yeah, because um, <laughs> we like to shorten everything, but. Um, yeah, so that's obviously where all the Australian punters have come from, like playing that game from a young age. Um, yeah, it's just given us that skill set to punt a football. Who's like uh, your favorite or like 
uh, of Australian punter that you looked up to? Uh, Mitch Wisnowski, yeah. obviously at the 49ers. Uh -huh. He played for Utah. Um, but we kind of had a similar background working in construction. Uh, so, yeah, that was just the guy I looked up to. Uh, I want to talk about the art of punting, actually. Um, you know Johnny Hecker? Yes. Yes. He did some crazy stuff with the football when he was punting it, just putting different spins, all this type uh -huh. of stuff. Um, when it comes to that, how long does it take to really, like, learn a new style of a punt? Honestly, um, there's different angles on the ball that we can do. Uh, I just learned that playing Australian football. It really doesn't change a whole lot. Um, the biggest thing for me to work on is the spiral, um, and that's how, what I put most of my energy into because um, get, that gets you drafted. That's, like, what gets you paid. So um, being a great spiral punter is really all I focus on. Uh, the other things I do just kind of come on naturally. Does the spiral like give you like the the back bounce and stuff like that, or how uh, does that spiral work? just the big hang time, big okay. long punts that oh, yeah. really the NFL is looking for, and obviously they love the the corner, coffin corner, and the pinning the team deep. But yeah, spirals uh, pretty important, of course. All right, so I'm coming up to you on the sidelines. I'm now your coach, your uh, special teams coach, and I said, Mark, we're gonna run a fake here. Do you want to throw it or run it? I want to run it, to be honest. <laughs> okay. And I know every coach would tell me, just get the first down and get down or get out of bounds. I'll, I don't know if I can do that. I want to run over someone. <laughs> Let's, <go. laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah. Just like, go. it might be my only chance, you know? <laughs> just don't pull a Brad Wing, you know, and yeah. celebrate yeah, too early. Sure. Yeah. I tell people, if, I, if that happens, I'm either scoring a touchdown or I'm getting tackled. I'm not running out of bounds. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Although we're, we're going to need you, so <laughs> yeah. just yeah. be careful. Well, That's all right. I'm the hope enough. is we don't actually need you too much, exactly. but when we do, we have one of the best punters in the country. That's right. I'm expecting not to have to punt a lot uh, as much as last year, uh -huh. um, but yeah, I'll be ready. What have you seen, just the team at practice and stuff compared, you know, this time compared to last year? Yeah, it's exciting. Like, high energy. Just You can just see the, the talent. Uh, I mean, and we just had a week off last week, and there's I was in for a few of the days, and there's 30 people in there working on their game, like... Mm -hmm. It's just something you wouldn't have seen last year. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's just for the two hours a day I was there. So who knows how many were there throughout the whole day. It's just these guys really want to win, and they really want to win now. Um, and they're talented. They want it. So I think we have everything we need. Let's go, man. We can't so wait. With less punts, what is your kind of goal? What is Do you have a number that you're trying to hit or an average? Or Obviously, the NFL is the next step. What do you have to accomplish to get there? Yeah, it's hard to put a number on it just because – I might have a lot of those short field punts, like the pooch punts. So, obviously, they affect the average. But, yeah, um, yeah, just pinning teams deep and getting good hang time, fair catches is really all I'm trying to do. Just being consistent, like controlling my worst punts, like just eliminating the miss hits. What have you seen from uh, Alexander, uh, the new kicker? Yeah, he's got a lot of potential. He's, he's yeah. a strong leg. Uh, yeah, he will do great things here, I think. Let's go. Who who are your guys that aren't specialists on the team? Like who who, who uh, would you hang out if, if it I wasn't love, in the uh, specialist group? I love Jordan O, the receiver. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. he's a good dude. Uh, ben Finiseth is just funny to be around with <laughs> you guys. Yeah, obviously, yeah. of her. I love being around Shiloh too. He just I'm always laughing when I'm around him. So those are a few of the guys that I like being around. And then last one I have is just what have you been doing around Boulder when you have some free time? What do you like to do outside of football? Uh, I like to play golf, like I said, um, go on walks, hikes, like it's just beautiful here, like I don't know, how lucky are we, it's just it's just <laughs> amazing place to be, um, but yeah, there's a few of the things I like to do, watch sports, um, yeah, that's about it. I'll never forget when we were at that prime dinner, uh, <laughs> and he's just in the middle of talking, and he just like sees you out of the corner of his eye, and he just goes, hmm. Mate, like, stops everything. <laughs> Jake and I literally almost had to, like, excuse yes. ourselves from the dinner because we were laughing so hard. Everyone's like, what? What is that? <laughs> and then he had to just explain all our, our fantastic punter yeah. just yeah. caught my eye. Yeah, that was funny. It's, it's, like I said before, he's just hilarious, and he just can't help himself sometimes. <laughs> it's great. It's awesome. It's the best punter in the country, man. Yes, Mark sir. Set. Mate. 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 Appreciate it, man. Thank of you. Of course. Thank Thanks you, for man. having me.